Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I just got back from Trader Joe's. Thought I would show you what I picked up for lunches this week. Um, I grabbed some cage-free already peeled hard-boiled eggs. With the price of eggs right now, this is not a bad deal. Uh, I think they were $2.99 and you get a half dozen. I don't have to peel them. I picked up some broccoli slaw. I'm going to make broccoli slaw today. This is organic. I was, you know, Trader Joe's. But, yeah, it's just broccoli stalks and some carrots. I'll make that today. Oh, I got some pepperonis. I got, oh, I love these. These are the best oven baked cheese bites these are better than cheese wisps if you're a keto person it's just cheese that's the only ingredient but they also have one that has truffle oil on it oh, so good i just grabbed these today i was hungry on my way home Ooh, i got some dryer balls i love these things if you've never used dryer balls um, i highly recommend it does a great job of fluffing up your laundry while you're drying it I seem to have lost one of mine. I, I, I don't know how that's even possible. I don't even take them out of the dryer, but I'll find it. But they were getting kind of, I don't know, pilly, I guess is the best word for it. So I grabbed a four pack. I've also gifted these. They're very reasonable. They're um, $5.99 for a bag of four. And then... I can reuse this dryer ball bag for something else. But I've definitely given these as gifts and it's a great, it's a great gift for people if you have a Trader Joe's in your area. Ooh, I got these to try and they're delicious. These are marinated artichoke hearts. So they're quartered, but they're marinated in a brine, not in olive oil, which I like. Um, and I ate them and they're delicious. And you get uh, one and a half ounces. They're shelf stable, only three carbohydrates, no sugars. Um, but I figured for the airplane and one, you know, my travels that I do, I'm always out and about. Um, yeah, it's always great to have handy snacks that I can grab and go. Oh, and the shelf life on these, this is good until November of next year. So these were $1.99, not a cheap snack, but it works for me because I'm busy. Um, I grabbed two packages of these. These are cauliflower slims. Each one has enough for, it's enough for two sandwiches. So there's four tiny little sandwich rounds in here uh, to make your sandwiches on. They have three carbohydrates, no sugar. And the shelf life, you have to keep them refrigerated. That's the one thing. And it is, I don't know, there's no, oh, September 30th. They're good until. So that's good. I make, you know, like sa sandwiches for lunches or whatever. Um, I grabbed some cottage cheese. I've been hankering it. This is low fat. Now, you got to be careful with this. A quarter or a half a cup is five carbohydrates. But it's 13 grams of protein and two fats. So this is a good protein source for me. I just have to be careful with portion sizes on that. Oh, I got some mushrooms. Thought I would cook those for dinner one night. Um, for my sandwiches, I just got some ham. I could have went to another grocery store and probably got some of this cheaper, but I just wasn't feeling it today. Um, I got some light sliced cheddar. So this is only four grams of fat eight protein so this is a good macro for me because i'm doing lower fat higher protein this is a good source of protein and between these this will make me a sandwich for lunch tomorrow because i am going into the office and then the last thing i got are these these are just little cheese and meat that's it genoa salami and provolone cheese this is good until december and the macros is one carbohydrate, eight protein, eight fat. So it's not a great macro for me. However, when I am working at the shot and scene or the shoe, I need easy portable snack options or meal options. Like for football, I will be at the game next Saturday. I think I have to be there at three o'clock. The game doesn't start till seven. I'll be there till after midnight. I will need a food source. So I can grab 
I can pack this and that's a meal and maybe, you know, maybe a pickle or something and I'm satisfied for the night. So that's kind of what I have to look at. So that was my Trader Joe's haul. It was a total of $50. Oh, and I got some mints for my purse. They're ginger mints. Um, just in case I get uh, a little bit of motion sick. I take Dramamine when I fly, but sometimes I just get nauseous. I'm having some coffee. So that is it. Next up, I think we're going to purge some shoes. Let's do that. All right, guys. I'm sitting on the floor going through shoes. And by going through shoes, I mean these are just my downstairs shoes that I pulled out of my hall closet that should not be left down here. So we have to make some decisions. I thought you would help me. Right? So, I have a shoe problem here. That's my hall closet shoes. I have more upstairs. And then this basket's what going, what's going upstairs to be put away. So these are not all getting purged. Like my Lux. I love these sandals. I'm not getting rid of those. We'll keep them. Um, now these Asics, I gotta find the other one, are getting donated because they don't fit me anymore. I don't know where the other one quite is. Right this second. Oh, but I do need to take out my insoles. These are my Vionic Orthotics that I use in shoes that aren't great on my feet. So there we'll go. Um, these Mucklucks are way too big. They're slippers, but they're too big and I don't wear them because I slide around and that's not comfy. I love a slipper in the winter time. So I have these I just bought. I wanted them last year and I waited too long and they sold out and they have just now come back in stock at Kohl's and these are the Bob's meows. I will tell you if you buy these, I went, I got a size nine wide and that fit me perfect. They did give a little bit, but these are staying down here because these are my house slippers. These house slippers are an accident waiting to happen. So they're getting donated, but I don't know where the other one is. So give me a second. Guys, why do I have so many one shoes? Oh, these I'm keeping, these are sandals. You're gonna notice a lot of sandals around here, but I'd also don't wanna be donating one shoe at a time. These are some old Asics. I barely ever wore them, so I'm donating them. They, um, they were tight across the top of my foot, so they're getting donated. And then if these shoes don't, if I don't feel like they're donation worthy, then I'll toss them, like, ugh. These sandals, I don't know. They're kind of worn and gross. So I think I will just toss these. I've had them for a very long time and they're gross. So those need to be given away. Oh, while I'm talking, here's the other shoe. Found the other ASIC. These are ASICs, but they're not the, the style that I wear. And so, but they're restaurant shoes, but they didn't fit good this year. Oh, and here's another pair of ASICs that I'm donating. I need to stop buying shoes, guys. I know. Actually, I probably should throw those away, but we'll see. I don't like these slippers because I slide. At, they're, they're fantastic. But when I walk, I slide right out of them. Somebody else can have that death trap. Oh, these are my also other favorite slippers. Have we noticed a trend? Slippers, tennis shoes, yeah. So these were given to me by an old boyfriend and I love them. They're leather, they're nice. They are LL Bean and they're fantastic, but um, I need more than one pair. So now I have two good pairs of slippers. All the others are getting donated. These I need to work on and think about. I can't remember if I like them or not. I will decide this winter on those. These I'm 100% keeping. These are bolo brand and they are leather and they are so comfortable and so nice and um, they were my mom's she spent a fair amount on them but they fit me perfectly so we will keep those okay shoes um these keds i'm trying to break them in so that it doesn't hurt me so we'll see if those work out well um my chucks of course i'm keeping those 
Now, over here, I have these shoes, and I've shown you this brand before. This is Fit Deville. These were sent to me for free, and so is the other pair that I'm going to show you, but the opinion is my own. Um, so I've worn these to work. This is why I get them in black, because I wear them to my job. They sent me a new pair. Guys, I love these. They are slide in. They are wide width. They have the wide toe box, so I have stability. Look at the size of that sole. It is like walking on a cloud, and I wear these at my part-time job. And I wear a nine wide. I'm kind of in an in-between, and these fit me perfectly fine as a nine wide. These are obviously staying because I wear them. However, they also sent me this pair of sandal, which I love. It has the same orthopedic insole and stability it is not a wide shoe so it doesn't fit me so i'm going to be giving these away to somebody and if my friend doesn't want them i might give them away to one of you they're a size 40 so that they're european size they're a size 40 which should be a size nine they really fit me like an eight eight and a half probably yeah eight eight and a half because sarah was able to put them on and they just fit her and she's an eight eight and a half and they're they're a normal width so they're not a uh, wide width. So if anybody out there thinks that they might want them, let me know, send me an email. Because like I said, I can't wear them and I would be happy to pass them on to somebody else who can wear them. And these are $100 shoes. And the company is sending me a new pair because they forgot to tell me when I ordered them that they are not wide width. Also, I will tell you, if you get shoes that come with dust bags keep the dust bags these are fantastic for packing on trips so that to put my shoes in i'll put these in the trash okay back to the shoes guys um i love these but i'm worn through them i don't know i don't know guys i could wear these on vacation really but they're more of a summer shoe i don't know i love them okay we'll keep them in case the kids don't work these are a no-go for me. Again, they're nice, but I just don't wear them. And I need to stop holding on to things that I don't wear. Another slipper. These, I don't know. Again, we'll see this fall. I should just try it on. But it's hard to try on shoes without socks, right? I mean, I know I love these boots. Yeah, we'll keep those. You can't even see them. They're adorable. I love these. I love little booties, and I definitely have a couple pair upstairs that I have to get rid of. Um, my foot fills it out, so you don't see all that, but I love these little booties. So I'm keeping the booties, and I'm going to keep for now the black pair. Let's see if I can get my foot in it. I don't know why my foot, no, they, these fit fine. You know what it is, too? I try to wear two thick socks with them sometimes in the winter, and then they don't fit good. But these are fantastic. They are so comfortable. Uh, these I got, now this is funny, it's an eight and a half. These are Candy's brand. And they're normal width, so I'm somewhere in between. Oh, let's just put these in the bag. And not these. Oh, guys, we did it. And I don't think I did it terribly bad. I kept, let me put these on. I'm trying to be good. And the kids are better for my feet. I mean, these are so dang cute. I may have to keep these. I'm keeping these. Yeah, I'm keeping these. I love them. I love them. I won't even tell you how many pairs of shoes I have upstairs that I have yet to touch in two years because they're all work shoes. The booties I get away with because I can wear them with jeans and stuff. I really have to make some decisions on the work shoes. I know. I'm sweaty, guys. It's hot in here. I think it's me. I think it's my... COVID vaccine is making me feel gross today. While I'm sitting here on my floor and getting ready to take all my shoes and put them away, I will show you some friend mail that I got. This is a fun new angle. I haven't done this angle before. See all the crap on my floor? My house is a disaster. All right, I got some fun friend mail and I wanted to share it with you. So, and I have it all here in front of me, so let's do it. This is from Stacy. Stacy, this is fantastic fabric guys look at this it's all needlework but it's all the colors of the rainbow in everybody's skin tone which i flip and love look at that i love this i cannot wait to make something out of it and i was telling my niece sarah about it 
and we're deciding what we want, what kind of a bag that we want, because there's plenty of fabric here for me to make more than one. So I can make one for Sarah too, or I might make her like a desk mat for her office, because this is what she has in her um, classroom. But I look at this, embroidery floss and stitching, and oh, it's perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so kind of you. And I got to figure out who this is from. Give me a second. This is from Tammy. Tammy, I loved your letter. And guys, I'm going to die. These are, I believe, Queen Elizabeth I buttons. These are vintage buttons. I'm dying. And they say on them, Queen Elizabeth. And I believe it's the first because I don't see Queen Elizabeth II. So these are going on some stitching project and I cannot wait. Isn't that everything? I could also grind the button part off the back of one of them and make a needle minder for my cross stitch. I'm doing it. I have a Dremel. We're doing that. Because these are metal. So I could do that. Oh my God. Isn't that everything? And then I can put them on my project bag for when I go to England in a month and a half. Don't look at my hair. It's a mess. Don't look at my hair. Nobody's looking at my hair. Um, oh, and I got a lovely sympathy card. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Linda, from the bottom of my heart. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I had a uh, loss in my family. A young cousin passed away, and it was really hard on all of us. Um, so I didn't get to ride in Pelotonia because I needed to be there for my family, which is perfectly the right thing to do. And I don't, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to have been anywhere else. So... I just want to thank you for understanding and sending that all lovely card. Okay, this packet of joy is from, and I don't know if I can read your name, ma'am. Uh, says Mulvey, but I think that's your last name, and I can't read the card. So I am. So very sorry, but you sent me this lovely card and look at the cat and some lovely, lovely things. And I want to share them all with you. So look at these stickers for my plan. Oh, I'm sorry, glare. They say dream big, rise and shine, beautiful joy. I mean, just the positive affirmations I'm dying for. Um, and then look at these beautiful stickers. These are going to be so fun in the spring. I cannot wait to start my next planner, which I've already got. I just have to set it up. Oh, it's a little pocket hug. It's what it says. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little pocket hug. We're going to open it now because I was waiting. And this can go in my wallet. And I can just keep it all the time with me, right? Because that, oh yes, this is perfect. And it just has a little glue. And I could also put a magnet on that and make it a stitch minder and put it on all my cross-stitching stuff. But it's just a little wooden thing and it says a little pocket hug. Isn't that everything? I love it. That is perfect. And then some post-it notes, which I use all the time. Oh, thank you so much. So thoughtful. Yeah, I think what I will do, either put a pin back on this and put it on my, um, put it inside my purse or put a magnet on it and then I can put it with all my crafty bits. But I love it. Thank you so much. And lastly, I got this package. You gotta remember your name from Kelly. Kelly, you are the best. So in here is, look at this. Do you guys know me or what? Notebooks and bicycles. Look at that, isn't that perfect? I don't even know what's going to go in here, but something fantastic. Oh, maybe my training stuff for Pelotonia next year. I don't know. We'll see. Kelly messaged me because she is a saint. And she found, excuse me, I'm just putting those away so I can take them upstairs. At, I think at your Goodwill or at one of your thrift stores in wherever you're from. Because I don't have it in front of me. I'm opening them both first. Oh, I'm sorry. I, what, girl, what did you do? What did you do? Ugh, you, did, you did a good job wrapping them too because nothing got broke. 
Oh, I'm yeah, this one's mine. Oh, what? What? I'm not let oh, oh it's a lid. It's a lid! I love lids. I'm dying here, guys. I am dying. I mean I should share these and I probably will, but not this one. So if you know, I collect these and I'm gonna be gifting some of these. Look at this, isn't that everything? So what I do is I put in the center a pin cushion like that I cross stitch and then you can hang scissors off. And I needed one for my smalls exchange when I go to Canada next year and she found me too. You guys are so good to me and I don't know how to tell you how much I appreciate it without telling you and sounding trite, but it's not, I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I'm so excited that we have the Facebook group that now we can kind of converse a little better and easier than trying to message in, oh, went in front of me, than message on YouTube. So, all right, let's see what else we can get into. I got things to do. So I got to do nothing else. Well, I did. I spent the rest of the day making a video that I don't have ready yet. I have to do some editing, but I created, there's my beware sign. And there's my Alex. Hi, Alex. Oh. Um, I feel like it's the world's giant, the most biggest, giantest advent calendar for Sarah for Christmas. Um, so I put the bones of it together. I still have to decorate it and do a few other little things, but that's, I mean, personalized. So I will end the video and I will get that edited out. That's going to take a little bit of time to edit. There was a lot of bits and bobs and pieces and I may have to do re, uh, re record some stuff. The problem is this book that I created for her is giant. So the, <clears throat> The front and the back cover. <clears throat> I just got a piece of pepper in my throat. I was eating a hard boiled egg. The front and the back cover are, I think, <clears throat> 17 inches long and 14 inches wide. And it holds 24 four by four by two little black boxes. And if you're on the Facebook group, I posted a sneak peek of what it's going to look like for the video. So right now it is. 8.30, I'm editing this video to get it loaded for tomorrow. I have to work in the office tomorrow. And I, I think I mentioned earlier, I had both COVID and flu vaccine. I'm just a little tired today. So I think I will be done here. And you can enjoy my shoe purging and my Trader Joe's. I ended up making a ham sandwich for lunch tomorrow. I did make the broccoli slaw and what else did I pack? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that was all I packed. Oh, cream for my coffee. And a cup. That's all. All right, guys. I don't know where, why I'm looking over here when the camera's over here. Is that weird? <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good night, and I will talk with you later.